hey guys welcome back so today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my tattoo stories uh the meaning behind my tattoos before i get started on the video i do want to put a disclaimer out there if you are a person that does not believe in tattoos or body any kind of body modification then i suggest you guys do not watch this video because i don't want to get into like whole controversy you know arguing with people back and forth in comments i don't want to do that so yeah guys so everybody's entitled to their own opinion but if you if you don't like something don't even look at something that has to do with with that that you don't like so yeah guys so for those people that do not like tattoos or anything this video is not for you and i'm also not enforcing tattoos on you guys like i'm not telling i'm not telling you guys to go out there and get them it's everybody's personal choice you guys have grown so yeah guys so anyway so enough chit chatting i wanted to let you guys know that and um let's get on with the video let's get on first time that I got my tattoo I was 21 years old and I had barely had my son yes at 21 years old you know you're supposed to be out having fun celebrating that you're 21 well I gave birth I popped the baby out and um, um, I wanted to get something to symbolize him so I decided on getting his feet done after you have a baby Rosalind give me this after you have a baby they give you like a little stamp with your kids um, footprints so I wanted to get that and I wanted to get that on my back here by my neck almost. So yeah guys, so the opportunity came up where one of my friends was having a tattoo party and um, she invited over a, a, a tattoo artist and you know, people were getting tatted left and right. And I was like super excited. I'm like, yes, I'm finally gonna get a tattoo. So I really didn't give a damn how, you know, how everything was. At that time I was only 21. I was super excited so I didn't care. So I got it. Um, and I got his footprints and I only paid like $40 I think I think it was supposed to be 50 but then like you know my friend kind of you know like talked to him and I only paid $40 for it and let me tell you guys after I got that tattoo um, it was messed up it was super messed up because um, some of his feet you know my son's you know like where the little toes are you could see like the streaks of the tattoo gun so it was bad it was just bad guys it looked super super faded it looked like i had it for a long time so yeah that was the first tattoo ever after that happened um i you know certain situations came up i got a divorce i went independent you know i started working i, I started making my own money and i wanted to kind of go bigger bigger go bigger go home <laughs> So I wanted to get a bigger piece in my back. I wanted to add my son's name, his birth date, you know, and I did. Um, I actually went to a shop now. I went to a professional shop this time, guys, um, that was only like up the street from my house. I went up there and I talked to the guy and I told him, you know what, like, I want to get this and this done, you know. Um, and yeah, so he kind of took my idea and he just drew it like he just like freehanded. He did. And that is the bigger piece that you guys are going to be seeing here. And he actually fixed the, you know, my son's feet. He actually fixed them because they were super faded. They were bad. Yeah, so, you know, he actually fixed them. And I believe the tattoo probably took up to like four hours, five hours. I'm not really sure. But it was a pretty big piece. And yes, guys, yeah. Um, now, the second tattoo that I got was, what was it? Oh, yes, it was this one right here. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. Wait, I'm lying. The second tattoo that I got was this right here, which um, is my shoulder tattoo. Uh, this is for my daughter. Yes, guys, I got pregnant again. Unexpectedly, I got pregnant and I, you know, I had to get something to symbolize my daughter. So I did. So um, since both my babies are February babies, which is crazy, my son is from the 10 and my daughter is the 12. Um, they were, both of their due dates was on Valentine's Day valentine's day so um with my daughter i actually went to an artist that was working at this shop at the time he's no longer working there you know he's doing work on his own he's super talented guys let me tell you guys super super talented so if you're in the Atlanta empire area and you're looking to get um tattooed 
you guys could hit him up i will leave his um his instagram right here so you guys could get in touch with him but he's so like fucking like amazing fucking like how can i say just talented talented okay so okay yeah so this time i actually went with him with rob and i told him that i want to get my daughter's feet this and that so this is what we came up with we actually decided on putting her feet together so they could kind of have you know like a shape of a heart for like february and we added her name this and that so yeah so this is the um you know how the whole tattoo came out um i do have a video of when i got it done but i mean you can't really see when he's actually doing it but i did blog about it so i will leave that video here if you guys want to check that out and my third tattoo i got it with somebody else i actually went to a shop guys i went to a shop in this shop like i feel like they overcharged my ass but at that time i was kind of i don't know i was in my own little funk i was kind of going through um i don't know guys it was just like personal problems you know and um i went in the shop and i got this one done right here which is um god gives his hardest battles to his toughest soldiers i was have to say this little ass piece right here was I paid more than I was supposed to, but yes, but what can you do? You already got it done. So, um, this right here, this tattoo right here really symbolizes like everything on my life. When I got this tattoo, I was literally in tears. It was the most emotional tattoo because I was just like playing over and over my whole life, guys. And I know there's people out there that, you know, that have gone through really, really hard, like, you know, really hard situations, really hard, um, times. In, in their life but I wanted something to symbolize that to symbolize that when I have been at my lowest I have been able to get up you know because you know God tests your strength guys and if you're not religious or anything like that just ignore this guys ignore this but you know like God you know he tests your strengths he tests um, your abilities to be able to get up and move on and that's why I wanted to get this to symbolize that so, yeah. now the my last two tattoos that i got i went back to rob which is i call my tattoo artist because honestly that's like the only person that i'm going you know that i trust with my visions when it comes to an idea of getting a tattoo done and i know that you know that that's gonna be on my body permanently for life okay. so um the the other tattoo uh, actually rob did it and this tattoo is very emotional guys very 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 emotional um in my life in my personal life because um at 21 before i had my son i suffered from a miscarriage i lost my first baby at 12 weeks which was the most painfulest thing ever um you know i feel i could talk about it now without getting super super like crying emotional guys but you know that pain's never ever gonna go away when you lose a child um so yeah so i wanted to get something that symbolizes you know my two angels my two babies um and rob did this piece right here guys um i kind of you know like symbolized it in my head i was able to find an angel and she only had one baby i'm still trying to find the artist of this drawing but um what i did was actually i added another baby to it and i kind of like you know changed the, the you know the baby's face because it kind of really didn't look like a baby it looked weird so you know i kind of you know just changed it up and i added another baby so it could be two and you know i gave it to him and he's just making it happen and this is how my tattoo looks and oh my god guys i don't know why but i really really wanted to get you know this tattoo because it's kind of like a way to vent you know a kind of a way you know to deal with the pain so yeah guys so this is the tattoo that i got and it's beautiful i like fell in love with it and oh my god guys seriously i don't know guys this is one of my favorite tattoos ever my two babies so yeah now my last tattoo um is the uh la virgen de guadalupe if you are not religious or anything like that please refrain yourself from making comments guys I respect everybody's religion if you don't believe in god it's it's good you know everybody has their own opinion everybody has their own beliefs so yeah so please if you do not believe in god or anything like that please don't come at me like oh my god this is not true that's not what the bible says no everybody everybody has you know their way of believing in god or if you if, whether you believe in him or not so anyway so i decided to get the la virgen de guadalupe as you know uh uh, in a Hispanic uh, household, Mexican household, La Virgen de Guadalupe is a saint. 
so um, I wanted to get something to symbolize that because my faith is super super big guys um, and you know she has always done like you know so many good things for me she has answered my prayers she has always been there for me protecting me you know protecting my family so yeah guys so us as Mexicans we believe in saints we believe in saints you know we worship saints so yeah um, so anyway so I wanted to get something that symbolized that you know I wanted to get something that you know that I know that you know she's gonna be with me like everywhere I go even though spiritually you know like somebody could be with you without you having them tattooed on you but I wanted to kind of like symbolize something um, you know symbolize my belief my faith and I decided on getting La Virgen de Guadalupe in my forearm and Rob did this piece right here and it came out fucking badass like badass and I know, you know, there's a lot of improvements when it comes, you know, to this image, you know, to La Virgen de Guadalupe. But I wanted to get, like, you know, the old virgin. As you know, she is in uh, La Ciudad de Mexico in the church. You know, she's right there. Um, so I wanted to get kind of like the old version, like the original version of La Virgen de Guadalupe. So he made it happen. So um, the last piece that I have is this little piece right here. And I totally forgot about it because it's so damn small. I forgot about it. This little thing right here guys this right here that i have is actually one that i came up with and it's a heart a heart monitor and a, like a dead heart monitor right here and then it starts going live and then there's this um i'm talking about the father of my daughter guys um and it takes a lot of balls for me to actually decide on getting something that symbolizes somebody else especially if it's not my children um, but I just wanted to get something, you know, to symbolize him because, he, you know, he took me from a very dark place that I was at, guys. Very low self-esteem and all this. And, um, you know, and he took me from that and he showed me that the true fucking love does exist, you know, that people will still love you. And, um, yeah, and he, you know, he accepts me with, with, I mean, how I am with the fucking insecurities that I, you know, you know, that I have, like, the little fucking, um, triggers, you know, that I get at times, you know, because, I don't know, guys, like, I kind of get, like, I kind of want to compare when you're coming out of, okay, when you come out of two bad, re like, relationships, you are, like, especially if you've been used, abused, you know what I mean, like, you're left with that trauma, you're left with that fear that it's gonna happen again, and you're always with your guard up and that's how i am guys um you know and i and i'm not afraid to say it. i'm not like scared or embarrassed to be like yeah you know like i do have like trust issues you know where i don't know guys it's just it's just crazy and in this person you know he's learned to accept me even though sometimes i do drive him nuts but you know he showed me like a completely different side of of love you know what i mean as as corny as it sounds he did he did you know he's like the only one that's ever done something super special for me he's the only one you know that has truly truly showed me respect like love and respect like he showed me like the other side the other side of what true love is supposed to be the other side of how a man's supposed to treat you because i've never ever felt that like i've never ever had that never had that so i wanted to get something to symbolize that so anyways guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i answered some of you guys' questions so anyways guys so um what i do want to tell you guys is if you guys are planning on getting work done just kind of um take your notes do your research you know find yourself a good artist but if you're on the LN empire and you're trying to get work done you guys could hit up you know my tattoo artist i'll leave his information but again if you're trying to get work done remember that you're the one paying for it nobody else is so other people's opinions shouldn't matter to you it's your body at the end of the day you're gonna be the one walking around with this tattoo on you like nobody else's so yeah so just just kind of like really think things through because remember tattoos are forever they're forever like children so yeah guys so um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um remember to subscribe and to turn on the notifications and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye